Hey guys, Berinfus here and this is GTA San Andreas. Today I'll teach you how to use a very neat trick in the game called the sliding glitch. Every bit of information about it can be found in this video. I did not find it out by myself, for that I would like to thank T. Duva, who also has a very detailed tutorial on the glitch and I'll link it in the description as well. My video will be split into 4 different parts in which I'll focus on one single thing in order to help you understand it better. Skip to the time shown on the screen if you wanna know a particular thing. Let's begin. Part 1. I know many of you are confused, so let's begin with this. What is the sliding glitch? It's a glitch which helps you sprint a lot faster than normal. It allows you to sprint in interiors you normally can't and also allows you to sprint with certain weapons which is not possible while running normally. Using the sliding glitch helps you walk from 18 to 15% faster than running normally, whereas jumping continuously is about only 13% faster than normal running. The difference might seem insignificant, but by jumping you cannot shoot and while sliding you can. Of course, the sliding glitch has its downsides. For starters, you always have to keep moving forward and once you stop, the slide is interrupted. Starting it again might be a bit tricky and takes some time so it's always best not to interrupt it every few seconds. Part 2. So how does it actually work? It's Pretty tricky at first, but it's worth learning it. The sliding glitch works best at 25 FPS, which stands for frames per second. Playing at higher frames will result in more difficulty with starting a slide, and at very high frames sliding is simply impossible. With my observations, playing with 25 to 35 FPS sliding is absolutely always possible. From about 40 to 60 you really start noticing the difference in difficulty. About 50% of the time the glitch does not work at all and above I have never been able to activate the glitch. I have seen reports of people doing it but I have never gotten proof so I can't really say if it's impossible or not. But for me it's certainly impossible. How do you limit your frames you might ask? Well there are many different ways, I'll tell you what I use. For a 25 FPS limit, you can go in your options menu and there you'll find an option to turn on the frame limiter. Turning it on will result in the game running at 25 FPS. For a 30 FPS limit you can install a silent patch, which is a mod for the game. With this mod, clicking on the same option will limit the frames to 30. Installing fraps using these settings and clicking on the record button will also limit the frames to the desired ones. But you really don't want to record the screen constantly. For higher limits you may need to install some extra software, especially if you use Windows 10. If you have an Nvidia graphics card and Windows 7, by going to the Nvidia control panel you can limit the frames to 30, 60 or unlimit them. With Windows 10, for some reason this trick does not work, so you need to install Nvidia Inspector, which is the best solution by far. With Nvidia Inspector you can limit the frames to whatever you like. Apologies to the people who use integrated Intel or AMD cards, I have never used such cards so I don't know the alternatives to them. Part 3. Alright, enough tech talk, this is what you all came for. How does this bloody thing actually work? First you need to pick up a weapon which you are certain that can be used for sliding and crouch. After you do, you need to start walking. Whenever you wanna start a slide, you need to press the sprint button and immediately after that press the aim button. Congratulations, you can slide now. Alright again but in slow motion, crouch, walk sprint and aim, that's all it takes. After you start the slide, you can let go of the sprint button. Of course there are some exceptions, like the minigun for example. No matter how much you try, you cannot crouch with the minigun. And this in my opinion is the most useful and also one of the hardest weapons to slide with. The trick with it is that you need to hold a neighboring weapon and crouch with it. Start walking. While walking press the sprint button, change the weapon to the minigun and aim. The last 3 steps need to be done in about a second. Again, change to a different weapon, crouch, walk, sprint switch aim. There are different speeds of sliding and what I showed you was the fastest method. We have slower ones which would help nobody but they're also good to know. 
If you remove the sprint option I showed you earlier, you activate a much slower slide. What you do is crouch, move, crouch, aim. This activates this slide without the sprint boost. Do you want an even slower slide? Well, I have you covered. Start crouched, crouch, aim and immediately move. Again, crouch, crouch, aim, move. This is the slide with the same speed as regular aiming, so I guess you would never want to use it. The strafe speed is slightly different with different weapons, therefore the slide speed is also different. For instance, you can slide a lot faster with an AK-47 on Hitman level than on Gangster level. You can change the direction of the slide and you can turn a fast slide into a slower one. Let me explain. You can activate the fast slide and while sliding you can go left to right. In order to slow down while sliding you first need to press forward, then right or left and after pressing the back button you make the slide slower. Sliding forward and pressing backwards will interrupt the slide. It's even possible to slide in one place. Simply activate the medium slide which is crouch, move, crouch, aim. Go right and then backwards. And there you go, you can slide in one place. Doing the same with the slowest slide will result in being able to do it backwards. Do you wanna slide in slow motion? This is very difficult and hard to explain. If you let go of all movement keys when switching directions just long enough so CJ is about to stop, he'll slide in slow motion. Change the direction again to bring it back to normal. How can a slide be interrupted? I already mentioned that if you stop moving or you stop aiming, it will interrupt it. But what else does it? Activating the falling animation for instance. Running out of ammo will also interrupt it. The minigun for example will still allow you to slide even though no bullets are left in it. You might think that getting hit by a car would stop the sliding, but no it actually does not. Part number 4. How can you know which weapon can be used for sliding? You can test it yourselves, but I'll also list all the weapons in just a minute. To test it, start aiming and moving. If CJ slows down like this, the weapon can be used for sliding. But if CJ keeps walking like this, the weapon cannot be used for sliding. Weapons such as grenades and molotovs or melee weapons with which you cannot even aim also cannot be used for sliding. These are all the weapons that can be used for sliding. The first type of weapons can be used to slide but require hitman level in order to shoot while sliding. These weapons are Silenced Pistol, Desert Eagle, Pump Action Shotgun, Combat Shotgun, SMG, AK-47, M4 and Rifle. These are the second types of weapons which no matter what cannot be used to shoot while sliding. Sniper Rifle Rocket Launcher Heat Seeking Rocket Launcher And the last types of weapons can be used to slide and shoot while not even on Hitman level. Flamethrower Minigun Fire Extinguisher Spray Can and camera. And that's basically it guys, I hope I did not miss anything. It is certainly the most detailed video I have ever seen on YouTube about sliding, so I hope I helped you out. Again, my video is highly influenced by T Duba's tutorial, which you can find in the description as well. Thank you for watching, leave a like if you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.